Hello everybody. Happy Halloween. Hope everybody's having a good night. We are going to do a um, quick little indoor steak. And so I thought I'd bring you all along. Goodness, all these lights. Hey, Tori. Oh, good. New sub and you're the first one here. That's awesome. Hey, pretty bird. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Papa Red. Grits and beer. Oh, that sounds awesome. Um, Y'all, I told you. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, Kaylee. Remember, I told you my computer's been acting up and... I mean, now it's like crash, burn, don't know what the heck's wrong with it. It was just really slow, and now it's like buffering like wild, and I just really can't even use it. So, I put an ad <laughs> on Facebook. Some of y'all might have seen it if um, we're friends on Facebook. I've got to make that shrimp and grits that I've been promising to make a route to, to film for you all. So, I said, well, let me do something that I'm good at. And maybe there is somebody in my group of friends um, or my friend's friends that are good with computers and will do a little barter. That's my favorite way to live anyway. I love to barter. So I said, I will cook you the best plate of shrimp and grits you've ever had if you can come over here and attempt to fix my computer. So <laughs> we'll see if there's any ads. You love the lip color? I was trying to do... Um, red you know do the wing liner and the red lip and I realized I don't have any red lipstick so this is the closest thing I could come to it I need to go and get some real red does anybody have a good real red lipstick that they recommend can you make a coffee cake yes Douglas I've got a really great do you like just plain coffee cake or do you like a blueberry Mac Russian Red. K. I've heard several people say they like that um, red from Mac. I'm not sure if that's the color name, but that sounds good. Water Lauded makes the best lip colors. I've never heard of Water Lauded, Tori. Okay, Redneck. How do you make the perfect steak? Here we go. Well, this is an indoor steak because I don't have a grill. Um... You know, my uh, ex-boyfriend and I used to grill out all the time, but I didn't take the grill with me. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I've got a funny story. Back many, many, many years ago, when I um, was first kind of getting into doing parties for, you know, catering and stuff, I had this screened in porch. I think I might have shown you a little bit of it. Maybe I'll show it to you um, after I cook this. That has paneling, you know, like the paneling that's on the outside of people's houses up on the roof of the um, screened-in porch. And for some reason, in my dumb blonde head, I thought there would be enough ventilation to grill out there. And this was, I was grilling for a party. I can't remember what I was making, but so I set myself out there on just one of those like little tabletop grills and start grilling away and all of a sudden I, the ceiling starts caving in on me so <laughs> and it's never been fixed it's still out there half of it coming down so that was a total disaster nightmare crazy situation one of many many that i've been in okay let's get started on this on this um steak I don't eat a lot of red meat at all, but uh, for some reason I was craving a steak and I was at the grocery yesterday. Um, so I'll show you what, the, what kind I get. I like a ribeye. Um, I don't really like the um, strip steak as much. I think the ribeye is more tender, you know, of course it's a fattier cut of meat. Um, and I do like tenderloins also. If I do a tenderloin, I like a whole tenderloin and like sliced thin. I used to do a lot of those um, for parties. But we're gonna do a um, 
ribeye. Let me show you, I'm going to flip you around here and show you what I bought and show you how I season it. It's very simple, but usually, um, oh, it flipped around. It's like it's, oh my God, y'all, I just realized something. My phone is voice activated. Oh, when I said that word, it did it. Flip around. When I say to flip around, my phone just did it. Okay, now I'm crazy. <laughs> I swear y'all just did it by itself, and then it came back to me. Okay, excuse me. <laughs> y'all, I'm nuts. Anyway, I can't remember what I was saying. Okay, so here we go. Here is the steak. I am going to flip you around. I don't know how that happened. That was so weird. Um, oh, I know what I was saying. It's very simple to make. It's just a few ingredients, if any, not really any ingredients, just the steak. Um, but the way you cook it and the quality of ingredients, just like everything, is going to make it the, what makes it the difference between a good and a bad steak. Ricky Rooney, strip and a flank are like Latino, yes, yes. Grill them, cut them thin, serve them with tacos. So here's the ribeye. It's a 10 ounce ribeye. Of course, it's going to have a lot of marbling. Beautiful, beautiful. But I, like I said, I do not eat a lot of meat and definitely don't eat a lot of red meat. But if I do, this is all natural grass fed um, American beef. It's by Strauss. It's free raised, grass fed. So no, it isn't going to taste better, but um, it is harvested responsibly and I think this day and age with the knowledge that we have at the you know our fingertips about meat industry that if you have a brain in your head you really have to do everything you can to try to be as responsible of consumer but animal gives your its life for us I think that it should be done in a humane way and that's just something I'm very passionate about so we got our grass-fed beef right here and I wanted to do a quick little lesson hey chaos kitty that's a nice steak yeah, I'm excited real quick about salt and pepper because that's the only ingredients salt pepper and butter so I talked a little bit about salt and pepper when oh by the way guys I have a whole nother thing I'm making soup again see that pot back there making a whole nother batch of that soup that I told you I made and my sister and nephews came over and ate some and so I kind of made a bigger batch and I'm probably going to freeze some of this time so that's cooking in the background so here we got salt and pepper you know just basic salt and pepper but I'm telling you it makes a huge huge difference and since these are the only things that I'm putting on the steak you want to make sure that they're good so um I've got the two different kinds of pepper right here. Back, it's actually the other way around. This is the fresh ground pepper, which is right here. And then this is just is right here. Fine ground sea salt. And then this is the pink Him Himalayan sea salt, which is right here. This is what I use. Um, it makes a huge difference the type of salt you use. Um, this type of salt, and if you just use regular, you know, iodized salt, it's going to be a lot, lot saltier than this salt. Number one, it's a finer grain, and it just, I don't know why, it's just saltier. If you do get the Himalayan salt, um, please make sure that it's actually from the Himalayas not China. Uh, I don't know why they are allowed to call it Himalayan salt when it's from China, but um, make sure you read the back and, and see if you can get it somewhere, at, you know, at least at least a little bit more close to the Himalayas. So, I'm going to get the Um, 
Oh, my, my mic is covered. Can you hear me better? Is that okay? We well, can't hear. Debbie, I'm sorry. Is that better? Okay, I was just talking about salt, salt and pepper. <laughs> Basically, all I said is use fresh ground black pepper instead of the, um, you know, canister pepper. Can you all hear me now? Okay, good, good, good. I'm sorry about that. Maybe it's the way I was holding my phone. I'll hold it like this. And then the pink Himalayan salt. And season it really well, probably a little bit more aggressively than you think because that is a pretty, it's not necessarily super thick, but it is a um, pretty big piece of meat. Okay, so we're gonna turn our oven, our stove on pretty high. I'm gonna put it at eight. It's gonna get a little bit smoky. Unfortunately, I do not have a very nice setup here, so I don't have a huge ventilation system. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the fan on. And of course, I've got my little personal fan here because I'm always hot. <laughs> okay. And let's go ahead and season this. Now, does anybody have trick-or-treaters they're expecting? Or there's probably a lot of people out with their kids trick-or-treating. I don't get any where I am. That was one bad thing. This <laughs> disclaimer, Marla. That's what I meant to say. Lots of pepper. If you're going to eat a steak, lots of pepper. Oh, another thing that's really, really, really important. Two things I forgot to tell you. Bring your steak to room temperature or as close to it as you can. Um, really, if you do any kind of meat, even just chicken breasts, you want to bring them as close to room temperature as you can. You know, obviously you don't want to leave them out past the point of um, salmonella or something growing on it. But beef can get away with it for a little bit longer too. Bring it to as close to room temperature as possible and dry it. I washed it and had it really, really dry. Okay, so we have salt. You can see I'm getting every little spot here. And then pepper. I'm going to have to put you down for just a second to pepper. Well, let's see. Let me see if this works. Oh, y'all can't see. Hold on just a minute. Let me pepper it and then we'll pick you back up. So this is what I can see. Yeah, definitely not safe for eggs. Well, um, if you're baking, you know, like I made the cheesecake the other day, I don't do a whole lot of baking, but you need your, your eggs to come to room temperature too. This pepper, one thing about it, it goes everywhere, but it's worth it. Okay, and I can kind of pick it up since it's on the paper towel, get a little bit more. Okay, so I can hear my pan kind of crackling, it's getting pretty hot. Let's go ahead and put the butter in. I've got several tablespoons here. Don't know how much I used for just this one piece, but we'll see. The pan I'm using probably is a little bit too big for this one piece. I usually probably do more than one steak at a time, but that's okay. Okay, let's do... half of one of these. Okay, so it's nice and hot. You know, butter has a lot of milk solids in it. Rotate the butter. So it's going to, you know, brown very easily, very quickly, which is what we want. That's why we want it in our steak. So here we go. Nice, pretty steak. Let's see, turn it up just a little bit. You want it to be, try not to smoke this out, but you want it to be as hot as possible to get that sear. 
and I don't ever time anything. I should so that I can tell people how to do it, but I just kind of eyeball it and look at it and kind of sometimes I'll touch it to see. I like my medium, medium rare. Yes, butter makes everything better. <laughs> cast iron is awesome. This isn't actually cast iron. I should have done it in cast iron. Okay, so that gives me a second to clean up a little bit. But anyway, I was asking, does anybody, do what, where you live, are there a lot of trick-or-treaters? Mm, you can smell it. It smells so good. I want my handles turned that way. See it smoking already? Let me turn this fan on over here. And I'll put my fan on high. <laughs> In the UK, we don't need to refrigerate our eggs. Oh, yeah. Always sold from the shelf in the stores. Isn't that interesting? And you never have any issues with salmonella. And when you get them home, you don't refrigerate them? Isn't that interesting? I think the UK is a lot more um, lenient. Maybe not a lot, but a little bit more lenient with, like, the Food and Drug Administration. I'm going to flip you back around while that's cooking. I think that's so interesting. Arkansas, it's rural here. We have no neighbors or no trick-or-treaters. So. And I remember when I did live in a neighborhood um, that did have a lot of trick-or-treaters, we had two dogs, and <laughs> that was a nightmare in itself. Every, you know, as soon as the, they would calm, we'd calm them down from a set of trick-or-treaters coming by, and then another one would come by, and so I think we ended up, usually we'd go out and maybe just leave a, a thing of candy and hope people were honest about it because the dogs got so upset. They vaccinate the hens against salmonella and eggs come out natural, not washed. Eggs come in all kinds of colors. I love that, Donna. Donna, I am just becoming in love with England. I've been watching all those British shows on um, public television. Okay. About another minute, I'm going to flip it. And they just seem so, I don't know, refined and and the way of living just seems, I don't know, more, more intellectual. I don't know. I just feel like I'm, I'm British. <laughs> Eight, seven, girl. Okay, I'm going to flip it. Sorry, guys. You can, see, you can see how it's kind of puckered up a little bit. I guess you probably can't tell from the camera, but I can tell. That's how I sort of know how to flip it. Look at that gorgeousness. Now, I did turn the heat down quite a bit. Once you get that sear, you can turn it down. I mainly do that, like I said, just because I don't want it getting so smoky in here. So, I'm going to let that cook on the other side. There's still a good amount of butter in the bottom. But I am going to finish it with some butter, too. Hey, I didn't see who that was. Here's my soup, y'all. Take a look at that. I haven't put the spinach in it yet, but this is that um, vegetable lentil. Oh, so good. I think the sweet potatoes, like I said, make it, but especially this time of year, it just looks so pretty in there. You can see I made a big batch of that this time. It is a smoking. So I'm going to finish this with another little pat of butter, just on top, and let it kind of marinate it on top. And y'all, this is going to be the best steak ever. I have made all kinds of marinades for steak. Um, I've got a really cool recipe for the knockoff of the Jack Daniels sauce from um, TGI Fridays. 
that is really good, especially on tenderloin. Um, yeah, it does smell good, Pop Rat. But this is honestly the quickest and one of the best ways to cook steak, I think. Paula says they pay more for their food in UK and Europe, but it's better quality and higher nutrition. I see. I love that. I love that idea. I like that. I would rather buy more, a higher quality anything, clothing, um, vehicle, food, anything, and have it last longer and be better for you and for the environment. I just think they're a little bit of a step ahead. Nothing against all my fellow Americans. <laughs> so I can kind of touch it like this and tell the doneness. I think we're pretty darn close. I'm going to go ahead and pretty much cut the heat off and take it out and put it on a cutting board. Of course, you want to let it rest for a good amount of time. Let that the juices redistribute. If you cut right into it, which I know it's tempting to do, all those juices just go everywhere. So, I'm going to put flip you around and put you down again. Salt, oh, pepper, butter, light happens. That's right. <laughs> Here's what it looks like. Yum, yum, yum. And of course I was at the end of my tinfoil roll. Didn't even know it, so <laughs> I'm just gonna tent it a little bit. And that'll keep most of the heat in while it rests. And um, I'll show you what it looks like in a few minutes when I cut into it. So, Let's go and talk and catch up. Turn my fan off here. Let's see how smoky it is. Not too bad. Not too bad. I might open up the door, the sliding glass door. Oh, that's what I'll do. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, we're almost burnt the house down, trying to grill out on my screened in porch. Because I'm an idiot, y'all. I'll pour myself a little more. I made up this batch of um, Crystal Light. I got this new Crystal I don't drink a lot. Well, I guess I do drink a lot of Crystal Light. Not necessarily Crystal Light, but these little mixed drinks. Sugar-free mixed drinks. Um, this one has caffeine in it, which I thought was interesting. Because I don't drink a lot of coffee. I don't think it's a lot of caffeine. Um, contains less than 2%, it says. I'm not sure what that means, but. So, I'm going to sit down. So hot, I'm going to take my fan with me. Y'all should see me at, like, Thanksgiving time. Oh, my gosh. I'd, I'd cook naked if I could because I get so freaking hot. <laughs> okay. Let's go sit 
sit in here for a second. Okay, I'll show you. Oops. Um, Open this up anyway, get some air. Okay, let me flip you around here. Oh, it feels good out here. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> What's the temperature where y'all are? I had a sandwich too and watched Rebecca make potato soup. Oh, Rebecca, you made potato soup? I saw um, the little cookies you made. I thought they were so cute. Okay, y'all. This is where the incident occurred. Can you all see that? So this is the, the siding, you know. I guess it's plastic siding. It's supposed to look like this, nice and taut with the ceiling. And here you have Marla, trying to melt the house down. Can you all see that? And I don't know if it would be easy. I don't think you could just stick it back up. I mean, I've tried, um, but yeah, tried to grill out here, and that didn't work out so well. <laughs> hey, Jillian. Yeah, I'm gonna sit out here. It feels so good. Go get my drink. I'll cool off while my steak cools off. So did everybody enjoy their, their first day of um, start the trigger, the jigger? Don't, ch don't, don't, don't trigger, don't trigger the jigger. I enjoyed it. My boyfriend is singing. I wish you would shut the hell up. Oh my god, Dammy. I don't think we've seen your boyfriend, have we? Do you have air conditioning at home? Oh yeah. But it's um it's actually quite cold outside, so <laughs> I wouldn't turn the air conditioning on. Final sighting lights off so fast. It's like oh I know. Polly, you're saying I'm lucky because I didn't burn the house down to hurt myself. I know. It was scary. You don't ever want to hear that name again. Me neither. The jigger is here. Oh, well, hi. You're making a fool of yourself. Um, I wanted to show you. I don't think... Well, my very first video I did with um, Sesame, I think I showed y'all. But I never showed you my little... My little... Um, Fairy garden. I need to redo it because the moss has the moss has died and turned brown. But <laughs> my namesake. Patricia Exo is a troll. I don't even want to talk about her. <clears throat> what is my favorite color? My favorite color is seafoam green. I love any kind of version of like teal or not like a bright fluorescent teal, so I shouldn't say any kind of, but more of a muted like seafoam green. Yours is yellow. I love, um, yeah, I like a lot of colors. I like like a Kelly green, but I mean, I'm talking about like to decorate my house if I were to redo it or um, paint a room. Um, I want to have an all teal turquoise kitchen. I've been collecting stuff as a matter of fact. But I like um, a, like a Kelly green color to wear I think is pretty. Um, I like yellow too. It calms you, Tori. Oh, Randy, you did. I'm so excited. Randy, I didn't see the winners of your contest. Did you draw them yet? 
think you are the neatest person, Renny. I mean, just, you seem like you live a really simple life, but a meaningful one. Where you take note of little things, and I don't know, I just admire you a lot, Renny. I like you a lot. It's funny, because you're, you're not the person I thought you were when I first met you. It seemed like you, I don't know, I just had a, a different impression of you. Not a bad impression at all. I always thought you were cool, but I just, you seemed a little, you have that inner peace about you, that Buddha, Buddha-ish about you, that after I got to know you a little bit, I can definitely see. Hey, Erica. So good to see you, honey. How's Angel doing? Oh, you haven't drawn it yet, Rani. Oh, thank you, Debbie. I know, Erica. I'm so glad that you are making videos and that we can see you again. Life happens. It was her. Um, I don't know. I'm sure you've heard, Erica, and this is not to talk about anybody, but somebody accusing you of going into their PayPal account and trying to get out of $100. It's like, where's the proof, okay? Angel's great getting so big. She loves seeing all the masks tonight. Oh, did you already go out? I know, Randy. Some people do make it hard. Yep. I think my lipstick is already wearing off. <laughs> um, hey, Janice, thank you. Did anybody dress up today? I was trying to remember. You know, one of the best memories I have of Halloween is dressing up in, at school. I mean, I had a lot of good Halloweens, but I always thought that was so fun when you got to go around to the different classrooms. Um, I mean, I graduated in high school in 96, so, you know, I'm almost 40. But I don't know if everybody else, most of the people are either my age or a little bit older, I think. And when I was teaching second grade, can't do that anymore in public schools. Oh, you did? You sent a request to fuck with her and ain't stealing just to annoy her and have to cancel that. Oh, okay. Oh, sweetie, I'm, I knew there was more to it. Um, Rennie says, it's funny because I've had a much worse life than TT, but you don't see me acting like her. It would make you cry knowing what I've been through, but onwards and upwards. Oh, Rennie. Yeah, I believe that. And there's a lot of people who have had much worse things happen. And I don't, I don't know why some people act the way they do. Definitely not her. Can't, don't have a clue about that one. All right, y'all, let's go back in and see see how my little steak's doing. Tammy, do you are you a newscaster? Are you work for the news? I was trying to figure out your your channel name and then I saw your one video where you said you were at work and I couldn't tell what um where you were. Now my good soup smells like steak. I think I'd rather have the soup smell. <laughs> no, just nosy. Okay, let's see. Let's pull this back over here. Maybe if I do like that, that y'all can see the steak. Maybe. I had to go to urgent care clinic. I have a sore throat and congestion. My doctor was dressed as, of all things, Wonder Woman all. That's cute that did that. I hope you're okay, Justine. I've been sick too, but I, I'm better now. I just had a high fever the other night. I don't know what it was, but I'm always on some kind of antibiotic. 
Y'all, I didn't get my results back yet from my MRI. They didn't post them um, like they normally do for like my blood work on my um, Duke My Chart. So I guess I need to cut. Well, I'll see my doctor on Thursday. So maybe I guess they can't tell me till Thursday. But I'm hoping, hoping, hoping my bone's not infected. Okay, I'm back. I just put my TV dinner in. What did I miss? Nothing, Douglas. I was shown where I almost burnt the house down many years ago. Oh no, your throat's starting to bother you, Debbie. Yeah, this is time of year when the weather changes. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Let me see if I can tilt you down a little bit. Hmm. I'll just cut into it and then I'll show you how about that. Of course you want to go against the grain. Which, let's see which way this is going. I think we're going to go this way for that. Definitely juicy. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, so it's probably just as I like it. Medium, medium rare. Little bit um, pink still on the inside. Probably should have taken that out just another 30 seconds beforehand. But you see how I cut against the grain? Um, it probably be intuition to cut this way, but the grain is going this way. So that's why I cut it horizontally. I guess it's horizontally this way. Horizontally because the grain was going vertically. Okay, let me taste this. it on my plate here. Look at all that juice though. So I thought that, I'm telling y'all, this is the juiciest steak you'll ever eat if you make it like this. Gosh, I love my family, says Tori, and have beautiful peach orchards and land. I could never move. The diamond mines are also here. Tori, where is that? There's a mistake. Oh my god, yum. I'm not kidding. That is so freaking good. It's like butter. It's so tender. It melts in your mouth like a um, tenderloin. Mm. Please try making a steak like this. Con, I forgot how good steak is. <laughs> Don't eat it often, but dang, it's good. You know, I hope I'm not offending you eating on camera. I just realized I hate when people do that. <laughs> and here I go doing it. Oh, Tori is a guy? Jillian? 
Oh, lady, you've got braces. How much longer do you have braces? Look at the stink. Mmm. And guys, it, I don't know. Salt and pepper. Make sure you use good salt and pepper. <laughs> Your hubby just walked in, Paula. You've got baby back ribs in the freezer, but I'm sick, so I'm waiting to, yeah, you don't want to eat them when you're sick. You can't taste them very well, huh? Let me um cut another bite here. Hang on. Y'all, there is nothing wrong with this. You can see a little bit better as it after you cut it and you let it rest for a second. I guess the blood redistributes the juice, and you can see it's a little more pink now. So that I would say that's probably exactly how I like it. I wouldn't mind it a hair less, but I, I think that's probably about perfect. So I would say it took, um, for a 10 ounce steak, I would say it took about um, five minutes on the first side and about three on the second. He's getting Caesar, chicken Caesar salad for dinner. Mm, that sounds good. You can't eat meat. Um, I think you need pink, pink somebody. I love salad. I'm a, I'm a vegetable eater for sure. There's pretty much no vegetable I don't like. Um, but like I said, I had a craving for some, some steak. <laughs> What's everybody else's favorite food? Or food they don't like? I'm trying to think of food I don't like. I don't like a lot of ground, I don't like a lot of meat, like especially ground meat. Mmm. Zaxby's has a um, Caesar salad. Now I'm cutting the steak with a fork. <laughs> Most ribeyes aren't that tender. I think it has to do with it being grass-fed. Yeah, Paparette, does anybody really eat liver? Ugh. Oh, thank you, Pamela. Yeah, the, look at the steak is perfection. I'm not taking credit for it. I'm just saying if you get good ingredients and real simple cooking technique. Mm-hmm. Super tender. You love litter. That, that's pink sparkle. I love that name. Do you really? How do you cook it, Pink? Oh, Jillian, that's right. You're a vegan. I love that about you. That takes a lot of, um, you know, effort and awareness, and I just respect that completely. So you've never, you've always been a vegan, Jillian. You've never eaten meat. That's interesting. Must have been your family must have been vegans. Like I said, if you're gonna eat meat, I think doing it in a very responsible way. Liver filters and absorbs toxins. Yeah, that's what I don't know um, if anybody watches The Chef's Life on PBS. <laughs> Y'all, everything I watch is on PBS. I'm like an old lady. Um, no, not really. Um, she is a chef from North Carolina. She's not far from here, as a matter of fact. She's about an hour and a half away and opened up her own restaurant called The Chef and the Farmer. <clears throat> and her big platform, she's a proponent of vegetables, first of all, like exalting vegetables as the main thing on the plate. And if she does use meat or, um, you know, serves meat, they use the whole animal. They buy the whole cow, they buy the whole pig. Um, so they use every part. And there's something that they make called Tom Thumb. 
she just came out with her first cookbook. It's amazing. It's huge. It's like a Bible of cooking. Um, you don't like to eat any organ. Yeah, I don't. I understand. I love eating rabbit and hair is very tasty. That's a big thing that she was was um, trying to promote or eating rabbits because their lifespan and how they procreate and it's so much less um, taxing on the environment to harvest rabbits, I guess is the best way to say it. Um, Jillian says, never eaten meat. My mom tried me when I was very young, but I realized it made me so I was vegetarian until I was 14. Oh, wow, that's cool. And you're from Scotland, right, Jillian? I mean, I know you live there now, but... Anyway, um, the, the chef's name is Vivian, which I love that name, from Chef and the Farmer, uh, from The Chef's Life. Um, and she went on a book tour this summer to promote that book, Deep root, deep, deep, deep run roots because she lives in a, a town called Deep Run. Um, and they had a food truck for people to sample like dishes from her book. And one of the things that they served was Tom Thumb. Does anybody know what that is? <laughs> Douglas's wraps are so cute. Jamie, are you in here still? You can tell us about rabbits. Oh, random people do eat kangaroo. Mmm. Well, they're a big animal too. I guess it's like um, people eating buffalo. Anyway, Tom Thumb. Speaking of organs, and look, I'm grossing myself out. Eat my steak. <laughs> Um, Tom Thumb is a pig's appendix, which I guess is fairly large. Oh, Jamie was at the hospital? I didn't see that. Oh my goodness, I'll have to call her. Was she there? Because I guess she was, I know she wasn't feeling well. Oh, my poor Jamie. Yeah, anyway, that's what Tom Thumb is. It's pig, pig's appendix stuffed with, I think, like sausage. Doesn't sound very good to me, but... Mm-hmm. My grandpa did, too. He ate a lot of dove. Tammy says, Antifa's new stand is against pedo bashing. Un unreal. Oh, Lord. She by my steak turned out awesome. I'll show you. I I've eaten most of it, so I'll show you the part that I have left. Um, gosh, I forgot what I was thinking. Got worried about um, Jamie. Renny, do you did you say you don't eat meat, Renny? Or just not the bunnies? It's hard when you call them bunnies, huh? Oh, I was talking about my grandpa eating dove. Um, my grandmother had a lot of well, they had a lot of land, and she used to always dry her clothes out on the clothesline. You know, even after she had a dryer. Which is cool. I mean, they do dry fresh sheets and towels off of them. Clothesline are the best. But I remember being little and pulling up to my grandmother's house and seeing geese and doves hanging from the clothesline, you know, with their necks down. I guess he was bleeding them out after he had caught them hunting. <laughs> and then take them into the kitchen to my grandmother to fry them up. You still hang close, Tori. That's neat. Oh, well, hey. Oh, uh, Debbie, Rennie's, um, your mom's watching Rennie's videos. Oh, that's so awesome. Rennie's a really neat girl. 
Ready, I wouldn't even be able to guess how old you are. You look so young to me. Occasionally, mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. When I was um, with my ex-boyfriend, we ate a lot more meat. I think that's probably pretty common. Yes, she is beautiful. You're 36, Remy? You don't look that old. Randy, I'm older than you. That makes me feel really old. I don't like being older than my friends. <laughs> Especially since you seem more, so much more accomplished than me. I have some uh, time to make up for. Yeah, Tori, you sound like my kind of person. Like everything the old ways. You hardly have any trick-or-treaters this year, just Tracy. I think a lot of parents take their kids like to the mall and um, actually our food line here was doing a, a trick-or-treat thing tonight where they I guess really can know and trust um, where they're getting their candy from I don't know that kind of takes the fun out of it oh they don't, your homeowners decision doesn't let you yep you were swarmed with kids Carrie that's cool I love that. Well, guys, I just wanted to come on for a little bit and show you how I made my steak. Um, like I said, just real simply, um, the keys are let it come to room temperature, getting grass-fed beef, um, hot hot pan to start out with, and good salt, salt and good pepper. Can't beat it. And some... Uh, butter that's the only ingredients it tastes like it has like Worcestershire sauce or something like because steak makes its own sauce my son and his girlfriend were handing out candy but hardly anyone came so they just took off to a friend's Halloween party oh well I love you guys and hope um, everybody has a safe and lovely rest of their Halloween um it's nice to see everybody Miss Fair Gardner, anybody, could someone help me understand the defense of T.T. saying someone started all this by saying she deserved to be raped? Oh, goodness. I don't want to get into all of that. Um, that's not true. That's not true. Um, it started, that had to do with that bloody live stream. I, I forget, I didn't see who that was. If you want to message me on Twitter privately, I can tell you a little bit more about that, but... We're kind of vowing to not talk about it anymore. It's old. It's boring. I can understand if you're kind of new to things that you want to know. And I would too. So if you want to know anything about that, you want to message me on either Facebook. My name is Marla Lisa on Facebook. Or you can do it on Twitter, which is Swami Ninja. I can explain some things to you if you, if you want to know. But we kind of all made a pact to not talk about it publicly and give her any more attention because Lord knows she doesn't deserve any. Okay, good night, y'all. Have a wonderful Halloween, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.